Friends are guiding a group of Quakers through a mountain pass when they encounter a strange man named Hendrix, who turns out to be Chingachgook's childhood friend. Between them, they save the lives of a young woman and her baby. Over there, beyond that ridge is Fort Henry. And uh, the other... Oh. And perhaps something soft on which I can extend my weary elderly carcass. Two more days and we can all rest up. But now we have to move. <laughs> huh? Huh? You all right? But now I'm really determined to find something soft. Charles Make it. There are too many of them. Now there's one less. Callaghan! I'm afraid he's for it. I'm not about to stay around. Morgan, what do you mean? Don't worry about his majesty. He won't lose the war just because we aren't here. I'm not going to stay here and get killed. Do you know how to get to the coast? Mm -hmm. Major Duncan is resisting heroically, sir. I'm no longer interested in resisting or heroes. Colonel! You wait here. Huh? Oh. Tully! <laughs> Morgan! We need you, chum. Or do you want us all to die here? I'm not sure I like what you're saying. Here are people that are ready. I like you just fine. Leave him alone. It's the Colonel. Huzzah! It's Colonel Monroe. George. General, another English regiment under the command of Colonel Manro has joined the battle. Manro? In that case, the fort is unguarded. We should send the platoon to occupy it. No, Colonel. Order them to sound a retreat. They're retreating. Cease fire! Hooray! We've settled those beggars! Have By the end of the day, we have Colonel, sir, we've won the battle. I should have preferred to continue fighting. We might have won not just the battle, but the war. Well, how does the fine air of freedom smell to you? I just smell the stink of enemies. We're in Huron territory. <laughs> huh? Frenchman, there's our safe conduct via Hurons. Get their uniforms. Oh, go ahead, Francis. Take this to General Montcalm. D'accord, j'y vais. Yeah. Tell you lads, all it takes is a change of coat and trousers and we're the service of another king. 
All right, here we go. And whoever we meet, let me do all the talking. Do you know French then, Morgan? Let's just say I've known a French lady or two in my time. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still alive, but we must get that musket hmm? ball out of his shoulder. They prepare a fire and boil some water. Professor, have you ever actually performed surgery? Most decidedly. I once took out my nephew's tonsils. And how is your nephew now? He's the leading alto in the Westminster Choir. Hmm? Hmm? I seem to detect a slight lack of faith in my surgical abilities. Oh. Here it is. The lad's out of danger now. You are wonderful, Professor. Thank you, my dear, but I really must share credit with my first-rate surgical team. And by the way, I should be delighted to be instructed in your highly original method of suturing. That lad is far too young to die. War is the enemy of the young generation. You're right, Miss Alice, and that's why I'll make sure you get to the fort all in one piece. So, try to get some sleep now. We have another hard day ahead of us tomorrow. Good night, then. Good night. Keep down. What will we do? Nothing. Shut it, that's all. By now, our courier will have reached General Montcalm, and he will know that we will be joining his army tomorrow. I cannot wait to take possession of that cursed English fort. was headed to Fort Henry. And the gentlemen who gave us these uniforms were supposed to advise Montcalm of their arrival. Then we have all the time we need to go warn Colonel Monroe of the danger. Sorry, but we ain't going back. I've got friends in that fort, and I'm not about to let them be killed because of me. You can't be deserting us. I'm not going to take orders from you. Hi-ya! Ah. Ah. Stop your spalpeen! That's what you get for trying to be a hero. Look, he's opened his eyes. Well, friend, can you talk? What's your name? He's just come to, and you want to pepper him with questions? That's cruel. Mm. Let him gather his strength a bit. We're English, and we're making for Fort Henry. Mm. Oh. The boy has been through a frightening experience and cannot talk. We must wait patiently. Yes, but not here. Do you think you can stand up? Mm -hmm. We will have to make a stretcher. And follow another road as well. It would be easier, but a great deal longer. Well then, let's get busy. He's very young, isn't he? And very nice looking as well. <laughs> <laughs> Women are a subject that will ever remain unknown to science. Huh? Uh. Get the fire going, lad. <sighs> huh? Connolly at least said what he had to say to a man's face, but you could shoot a man in the back. If we don't awaken him, I fear his snores are going to rouse the entire countryside. 
Professor? Yeah, who is it? What's wrong? Professor, we have to get moving. Uh, very well. Uh, uh, for some reason, I was dreaming that we were traveling through a forest pursued by ferocious Indians. Huh? What do you make of that? <laughs> There you are. What? <coughs> Most remarkable. Oh. Uh. Uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, oh, great serpent. <laughs> May I try too? Uh, uh, I have one! I have a fish! <laughs> I think the fish has you. It's going to rain. Let's get back to the shore. Huh? And you, get back into your stream. But after all that trouble, you just let him go. Now you know how to catch a fish. But if you are able to spare his life, do so. And the river will do the same for you. I think I understand. Go home, little brother. You do understand. Let's take cover in the forest. We'll ah. wait here until the squall has blown over. Ah. <gasps> oh. 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 Nothing to be done, I'm afraid. The man was shot at extremely close range. Boy, wear the uniform. Oh. That's right, take it. Huh? Go ahead, put it on. Cora! <clears throat> what is it, Uncas? What's the matter, uh. Darst? Come here. Why are you acting like this, Uncas? The boy needs our help, he's wounded. <laughs> he kissed your hand. Kissing a lady's hand is considered a sign of gallantry. Gallantry? Yes. It has nothing at all to do with affection or love. Oh dear, don't tell me you're jealous. Mohicans know nothing of jealousy. I'm sure you're right, but if you were jealous, it would please me immensely. <coughs> it would mean you really care for me. <laughs> Be very careful. You above all, Miss Alice. Oh, ye of little faith. Huh? I could walk over oh. burning coals by now. <laughs> oh. Oh. What are you doing? Rescue that boy immediately. Oh. My oh. joke. I always thought of myself as an excellent doctor, but this case is more like a miracle. I can assure you it's no miracle. That boy's a malingerer and an imposter. Oh, 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 oh. It's about time the cat let go of your tongue. Now talk. I'm a French soldier, monsieur. The English killed off the rest of my platoon. And what's your name? Jean-Jacques Dumortier. I pretend to be sick because I was afraid. We may be English, but we're still your friends. Here, my lad, this will keep you warm. And now what? Nothing's changed. We go to the fort and he comes along with us, but in shackles. Is that truly necessary? Miss Monroe, I am forced to point out that this lad is an enemy of yours. Wow. What's happening? Perhaps we found ourselves a better game. Who are those people? I don't know, but the young ladies are worth a second look. <laughs> Here, and don't point it at me. <laughs> French soldiers. <gasps> Arete. <laughs> <gasps> don't move. Out for a pleasant afternoon stroll, are you? Compliments on your English. You don't sound like a Frenchman at all. Ah, pay no attention to this uniform. We're all on our way to Fort Henry. Fort Henry, is it? I don't advise it. It's there now, but who knows about tomorrow? Ah. And are the young ladies going to the fort as well? Oh, yes. 
The place will be enriched by your beauty. I'd be pleased to escort you there myself, but I've got other plans. <gasps> Just throw all your weapons to the ground, gentlemen. <clears throat> Willie, pick him up. You know, I think I've seen this fellow before. <gasps> ah! <gasps> Throw down your weapons or this young lady is dead. Oh, my! She is unhurt. <laughs> no, Ankars. What will they do to me at the fort? Mohicans do not know much of the laws of the English, and even less of their hearts. You'll be placed in the stockade at first. But just till we've persuaded Papa to let you free. Mm. I would just like to go home. Nothing more. Yes, it would be lovely to be back home. You'll be just fine in the woods, do not worry. You will be under the protection of Tel Kalakam, the sacred animal of the Mohicans. He guides our lives. How do you not get lost? I told you, this is our home. He is very near here. Come with me, Jean-Jacques. I thought that was your sacred animal. Everything in the woods is sacred, and everything serves one purpose. Life. You shoot. What do I do? The deer will not stay still when he hears the arrow singing through the air. You must understand where he will go. Huh? Uh. I'm sorry. I simply couldn't do it. You are a good boy, Jean-Jacques. Take this, a Shaneo Shakawa. Friends forever. Thank you, Uncas. Yes, friends forever. Are you out of your mind, lad? Excuse me, moi. <laughs> There's the thanks one gets for saving a human life. An arrow in one's posterior quarters. It's time to strike. We'll get the French out of here once and for all. Forward! Fire! Jean-Jacques is gone! 
on. Huh? <laughs> you probably made the right choice. It's hard to remain friends when there's a war interfering. Oh, General, the English are attacking. Monroe does not wish merely to stop our advance. He wants to win. There is no use going on fighting. We will discuss terms of surrender. Mon général, je dois vous rappeler les intérêts de la couronne française dans ces terres. I am aware of the interests of the French crown, colonel, but our defeat will not further them. Who goes there? Huh? Take this dispatch to Colonel Monroe General, and... Hmm? One of our soldiers has burst through the enemy lines and is headed this way. Un message urgent pour le général. Shani Oshakawa. Fate is kind to us. Our forces will be augmented by Major La Roche's regiment. Oh, quel merveille! How is he? Il est mort, mon général. They say wars are won by generals, but today this garçon was more important than I was. Colonel, sir, a new regiment is joining the French forces. I haven't lost my eyesight, Major. Our only path now is to return to the fort. Sound the retreat and may God help us. Uh, hmm. This is the war the fools in Europe have visited on us. None of those poor boys will ever go home. The earth is huge, but the white man wants it all. Let us pray for the souls of all of them. Shane Oshakawa. Friends forever. <laughs> <laughs>